If you want to stop snoring, you have to understand what makes a snore in the first place. After all, proper diagnosis is half the cure. In normal breathing, air enters the nostrils and goes through the throat and the trachea to the lungs. In people who snore, this airway is partially obstructed by excess tissue of the throat, such as large tonsils, large soft palate, or tongue. Air currents competing through narrow spaces in the throat cause the soft palate, essentially a piece of soft tissue hanging in the throat, to vibrate. This vibration is the source of the noise we hear when someone is snoring. Snoring and mild sleep apnea may be treated with the mandibular advancement device. This device is designed to move the lower jaw and the tongue slightly forward and thus making the space in the back of the throat larger. I have researched many snoring solutions and they are definitely not all created equal. For example, you may have bought a snore strap and wondered why it didn't work. Let's take a look at one so you can see for yourself. When you put on a snore strap, you can clearly see what's going on and what it is doing. It goes around the back of your head and around your chin. This compression action pulls your jaw inward towards your throat. You may recall from the previous clip, this is not the direction that you want your jaw to go. You want your jaw to go in this direction. I really did like the idea of having a snore strap. I wanted to stop snoring, but I really didn't want to have to have a piece of plastic in my mouth all night long while I slept. Although it did sound like a good idea at first, I realized that they fundamentally just don't work. If you want to stop snoring, you really do need a mandibular advancement device. And this is what they look like. These are effective in stopping you from snoring, but they do have some major drawbacks. While some say it is like wearing a pair of dentures or having a mouthful of marbles, others complain about soreness in the morning or being hard to breathe. To make matters worse, these things have to be constantly replaced. This is because they spend eight hours every night fighting your jaw to stay in the same location. The story goes something like this. You want to stop snoring, so you buy a mouthpiece. After a month or so, it wears out and you notice that the snoring is back. So you buy a replacement. That one slowly wears out too, and you start snoring. You buy another one. It wears out, you start snoring, and the cycle repeats itself over and over and over again. That doesn't sound like a very good solution to me. This is where the jaw brace and traditional mouthpieces part ways. The jaw brace is a true mandibular advancement device that is worn externally on the back of your neck. A properly fitted jaw brace will have a slight gap between it and your neck. When you lie on your back, your pillow and the jaw brace work together to form a bridge. Pressure from your pillow will close this gap. This gap is transferred through the jaw brace to your jaw and moving your jaw slightly forward. When you roll over on your side, however, the gap is restored and the jaw brace remains neutral. The jaw brace takes the best of both worlds and combines them into one snoring solution. It is the comfort of a snore strap and the effectiveness of a mouthpiece. And besides, who likes those one size fits all products anyway? The jaw brace comes in five different sizes depending on your individual neck size. And every jaw brace comes with two fully adjustable Velcro straps that lets you dial in a custom fit that's right for you. If you're fed up with snore straps that don't work or uncomfortable mouthpieces that have to be constantly replaced, 
you do have a better choice. It's called the jaw brace.